Hey guys, welcome back. So got a review video for y'all today on the BH Cosmetics Supernova palette, which I was super excited about because I love BH Cosmetics baked shadows. I actually have a whole nother video on my other baked shadow palettes from BH Cosmetics, so I will try to remember to link that for you down below, but I just love their baked shadows. I think they do such a good job with them. They're so beautiful and they're super, super affordable. So I was really excited to hear about this palette. So I'm gonna do like I normally do in my review videos. We'll look at the packaging, we'll talk about pricing, we'll look at some swatches, I'll talk about the formula and just give you my overall review and thoughts on this palette. So let's jump into it. So the price of this palette will vary based on whatever sale BH Cosmetics has going on at the time. They kind of rotate their sales and percentages off that they run, but they're always super affordable. So when I got it, it was only $12.50, so super duper affordable. Affordable palette. I think the price is great on it. As far as the packaging goes, it's that kind of like, you know, traditional cardboardy sort of a packaging. So it's functional, but not like the nicest packaging. But I would always much rather a brand sacrifice on the packaging versus the product inside. So I think it's still functional. I really like the design of it. I think it's pretty to look at, but it's not like the most amazing packaging ever but I still do like it. And then as far as what you're getting in this palette, and you do have a mirror up there, so that's a little side note about the packaging, so that's a nice little added bonus there, but um, this palette, like the overall feel of this palette is just kind of like deeper toned overall, I would say. I mean, there are light colors, but it just has that kind of like darker, jewel toned, maybe kind of night out sort of a palette feel to it. To me, that's what I think of when I look at it. So you do have a lot of different options in here. You've got neutrals, you've got really pretty jewel tones, you've got smoky colors. So a lot of different options in this palette. I think it's really, really fun. Obviously these are all baked, so they're pretty much all shimmery. Um, I mean, there's really not even any that I would say are satins. They're pretty much just overall shimmers and or kind of like metallic-y looking colors. I wanted to try to compare it for you to the Galaxy Chic palette. So the Galaxy Chic is on the top and the Supernova is on the bottom. So I would say the Galaxy Chic has like a lighter sort of a feel to it. So kind of more like light, bright, springy, summery sort of colors. And the Supernova has just kind of like darker, more jewel toned um, fall, winter sort of a feel to it. But really, I mean, you can wear these whenever. You don't have to stick to one to fall, winter, or spring, summer. Just the overall feel kind of seems different to me, which I like. I like that they kind of switched it up, that they have kind of a different feel to this one versus the Galaxy Chic. Now for some swatches, I don't have Tawny in here with me to use as a pointer, so I found a random pencil to use, so that's what I'm gonna use. So starting here, this is the top left side of the palette. This is Phoenix, Leo, Vega, Capricorn, Pisces, Lyra. Next row, this is Pegasus, Libra, Stella, Nova, Gemini, and Scorpio. And then bottom row, which is my absolute favorite, this is Aurora, Celestial, Neutron, Aries, Nebula, and Luna. All really beautiful. Um, there are some in here that have a little bit of issue like um, Phoenix and Pegasus and Libra. Those are all very dry. Now I'll talk more about the formula in just a second, but these are extra dry and extra flaky and powdery. So they really need some kind of mixing medium like a Fix Plus, MAC Fix Plus, or a glitter glue or something. I would recommend that for any of these, but I find that those especially need something to hold them together or they're just like super powdery and fly away. And then um, Stella right here, that one's like, doesn't blow me away. I think it's more about the color that it's just kind of that like light taupey purple. It's just kind of like a not very vibrant color in general, but I did find that I had to build that one up a little bit. So those are really the ones that kind of stood out as having a little bit of issue. But that bottom row is amazing. I love that row. That's definitely my favorite part of the whole palette. As far as the formula goes on these shadows and just how they perform, you know, they are baked shadows. So you kind of have to be used to working with baked and you kind of have to know how they differ from other shadows. They're just a different sort of a texture to them. They're um, almost like 
looser and more like a little bit powdery, but almost a little bit grittier. I keep doing this because I'm trying to think about it. They're, I mean, they are soft, but especially the ones with shimmer, the metallic ones, you don't feel it as much, but the ones with shimmer definitely have a little bit of like a grittiness to them. So I find that I like to use them with some kind of a mixing medium. I typically use like a sticky base, um, something like a Maybelline color tattoo or just something to help them adhere. So I use that and then I will use MAC Fix Plus. Let me get something to wipe all of these shadows off of my hand before I have it all over my face, my arm, my clothes, and just everywhere. So I like to use um, some kind of a sticky base but then also MAC Fix Plus because that just brings out the vibrancy of the colors. So that's what I did today. I have on Neutron and then a little bit of Pegasus and Phoenix. So those kind of like these colors, the Pegasus and Phoenix, those are those ones that I was mentioning are kind of extra dry. So they do need that MAC Fix Plus or something like that to really like hold them together is what I found. But I mean, as you can see, once you use something like that, they're really beautiful and vibrant. Now I don't find that that's like absolutely essential with all of the shadows, but I just find that they work better and they look better if you give them some kind of a sticky base and then if you like kick up the vibrancy with something like a MAC Fix Plus. So I love BH Cosmetics Baked Shadows. I think they're wonderful. I think they're so beautiful, vibrant, just really nice to work with. I don't find that they fade throughout the day. I always wear a primer with every kind of shadow. So I do wear a primer with them, but I don't find that they fade throughout the day. Um, you're gonna need some kind of like probably matte colors to bring in here. So even at a minimum, if I'm just doing like a one shadow look, I would still bring in like my bronzer in my crease, just something to kind of blend out these colors. So there are no mattes, there's really not any um, like satins, it's really pretty much all shimmers or metallics. So that's something to think about. But formula wise, I love them. They're just some kind of like little things that you might have to tweak because they're a baked sort of a formula. So my overall review on this palette is that I really, really like it. I'm enjoying it. I think it's a beautiful palette, just really beautiful colors in here. I think it performs nicely. Do I like it better than my Galaxy Chic palette? I don't think so because I just love these light bright colors in this one, like the light purples and kind of like the yellowy colors, even the like greens and turquoises in here. I just love how bright and vibrant these colors are. The Supernova, it's still vibrant, but it's kind of more like smoky, jewel toned, bronzy, which I also really love. Um, but if I had to choose, the Galaxy Chic is still my first love. But this one is still an awesome palette and I'm really enjoying it. Alright guys, so that's my overall review on the BH Cosmetics Supernova palette. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful for you. Please give it a thumbs up if it was and let me know down below what you think about this palette. If you tried it out, what are your thoughts on it or what is your favorite baked palette from BH Cosmetics because they have a lot of options so I would love to know what your favorite is. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.